So the Chicago Bears hired Mike Pent as the defensive assistant coordinator. And I'm just here to give you my thoughts and details about the hire. At first, I was mad when I heard about the hire. But then, I pretty much didn't care about it. Because at the end of the day, for all the Packers that are coming in my comments section saying good luck with Mike Pent. Do you know his role on the team or are you just assuming because he's on the team because, you know, he sucked on your team? So let me get this straight. Do you even know Mike Pent's role right now on the team? He's just an assistant coach. Okay, he's not, he's not a coordinator. He's not a head coach. He's not a general manager. He's not even a owner. He's just an assistant. At the end of the day, man, I don't think... It's only good for the corners, okay? If we look at Green Bay's defense over the past couple of years after Mike Pent, his only... Only... He's only terrible at stopping the run. As a, He also changed Jair Alexander. And he's, from what I hear from you Packers fans, that he could basically lock up anybody. So, he's basically going to a team where we have all pro corners like Kyle Fuller and Jalen Johnson who look very dynamic. So, it's a win-win situation and maybe he'll fix Buster Screen's problem. At the end of the day, man, and he also, he also... It wasn't Green Bay's defense a top 10 this year from what I heard from Packers fans last season? Okay. And it's not like he's an he's not going to have an important role on the team. And you Packers fans act like he has an important role on the team that I do not know about. Maybe he maybe you know he's the head coach, but I'm sorry to break it down to you. He's not the head coach. You can you guys can look it up from yourself. But at the end of the day, you're just brainless Packers fans. And guess what, Packers Production, because I know you're probably going to do a video. Maybe not, but just beat me. Packers Production, I don't know why you're making fun of this hire. Well, number one, he's an assistant coach. Number two, you have a defensive coordinator that you hired that was on the 0-16 Lions who basically had the was the worst defensive coordinator I've ever seen since that's not named Hugh Jackson. So pretty much, you M Mike Pent was only bad against the run. Out of that, Green Bay was the best passing defense in the league. Okay, I'm not trying to hear that. The only thing that you we can agree on is he's terrible against the run. Okay, he Mike Pent is not going to do anything. Okay, he's just going to work with the dudes. He's not going to be making the plays. Okay? Anybody with a football mind, a football brain, would know Mike Penn is not going to do anything. Okay? We have a defensive coordinator. We, we do. His nickname is Doc. What's up, Doc? That's his name. And maybe... As a matter of fact, he'll give us secrets to your weakness. So I don't want to hear this pent bullshit. It's only good for the corners. And guess what, Packers? If you think Mike Pent is was worse, wait till you see the guy that you hired. Because as far as I'm concerned, I'd rather have Mike Pent than whoever the fuck you had. I forgot he existed. All I know is he was the defensive coordinator of the Lions their own 16th season. So guess what? You're going to a way worse version of your defensive coordinator. As always, I'm I, I'm sure this is probably not the best hire as the Bears, but it, it's not like he's has an a poor world. He's not calling the plays. He's just coaching the players.
You know, he's just an assistant coach. So, anybody with a football mind knows Mike Penn is not going to call plays. And if you do, you are a fucking idiot. You are a naive Packers fan. Like, Packers for... Or Shorty Productions. Shorty Productions needs a chip chair whenever he... Whenever he talks to his viewers. Oh, look at me. I'm Packers Production. Oh, I'm cool. Oh, we have, the Packers are the best team in the league. That Packers team... That... That team lost to a 43-year-old man that probably had the worst second half of his career. That was probably playing the worst game of his season. You couldn't beat him. Aaron Rodgers is a regular season quarterback at the end of the day, man. At this point, man, if I'm the Packers GM, you ship Aaron Rodgers. I'm serious. What is the point of keeping Aaron Rodgers? Okay? He is literally Steph Curry. They can, they're cute in the regular season. But when it comes to these crucial moments in playoffs, they can't, they can't do it. Outside of 2010, where Aaron Rodgers won the Super Bowl, he hasn't been back since. Okay. And it's just the hard way. That Packers fans are going to know. You basically got yourselves a worse version of Mike Penn. If you say he's bad, but he's but at the end of the day, take... You know what? I This is not a channel where I just want you to listen to me. This is a channel where, you know, I'm allowed to do whatever I want on my side of the grass. And you're allowed to do what you want to do on your side of the grass. Just don't come in here and start causing drama. Like Packers Production and Mini 14. Okay, so... Uh, my thoughts on the hire? I don't. I think it's good for the corners, you know, how Mike Pent, you know, changed Jair Alexander. You know, Jair Alexander was a top 10 uh, quarterback. And how he changed Preston Smith and... Uh, you know, Green Bay's defense, they're, they're only terrible against the run. But when it comes to the passing game, you know, you got to take it for where it's granted, though. And then you saw how he developed uh, Sullivan and uh, Adrian Amos, a former Bear, by the way. So anyways, that's it. That's all. Um, I know this is probably ain't the best hire, but it's not like he's a defensive course. So anyways... That's it, that's all. Subscribe as always. My name is Michael and I approve this message.